Good evening, Nix. How are you? Congratulations on your victory, 7-1. It's pretty good here when you come in from uh, the first half of the season, right? Yeah, definitely, Milos. How you doing? I'm pretty good. I, I saw you guys have a new wall up with some nice stuff. Why is yep. my face on there? Um, I don't know. You just, you're a good-looking guy. We just decided to put it up, and uh, I don't know. You'd have to ask uh, our owner about that. Moi? Me? I'm so flattered. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, again, I don't know how much we can comment on this game. I understand things from uh, Sonic's perspective, but for you going into it, uh, Consulate, was it pre-planned? Was the strategy against them just ready there just to execute? Um, we knew that, yeah, we knew that the map was going to be consulate, either that or border. Mm -hmm. Um, and, you know, we just prepped how we prep for every other game. Um, Odd Watch, you know, saw what they were doing. We, uh, prepared just how we always prepare and just came out and played our game. So we didn't really, we didn't really look into what they were doing too much. We just thought if we just play our game and focus on what we do best, then we'll come out with a win. So, yeah, and, and you definitely did now. This puts you way ahead of the, the competition. Uh, EG Reciprocity is the upcoming game. And I really want to ask you, because you're at 19 points now, uh, is there any team that you're rooting for in that game? Uh, no, not particularly. I think EG Rec, or they're both really talented teams, and I'm actually really excited to see how that game plays out. So. Yeah, you're getting closer and closer to Japan. Who knows? Maybe that spot will be yours. Um, general question anybody you're afraid of in the second half because we've seen teams you know they go for a fantastic first half of the season and then kind of walk through mud every now and then in second and then end up not being able to qualify uh no there's no team in the in the league that we're scared of uh per se but there are teams you know every single team in uh in north america are very talented tsm obviously just took yeah. uh, dreamhack montreal and uh, they're seventh place PL right now. So, you know, just because they're seventh place doesn't mean that you should be taking them lightly. They're a very talented team. Um, SSG with uh, with their new roster change uh, look extremely strong too. So there's a lot of really strong competition in North America right now. We're just going to keep focusing on us and uh, keep improving every day and make sure that we can maintain this number one spot. Yeah, and I I've seen your facilities uh, from what Bacon has uh, tweeted as a picture. That bathroom that you have is the size is bigger than the studio apartment I used to live in back in in university only a couple of years ago. So, yeah, it's pretty darn crazy out there. It's, everything is bigger in the USA. But anything you'd like to say to your fans at the end of this, I, I guess, fruitful day? Um, you know, thank you to all the Dark Zero supporters. We really appreciate it. Um, you know, they with us on this road to Japan. We hope to come out with the uh, with the spot. So, thank you to everyone. All right, thank you so much, Nix. Congratulations on your victory against the Sonics 7 1 at the end of the day on Consulate. Good night. Hey, thanks, Milos. G. Yo, what's up? Good evening, Mo. How are you doing? Can you hear me? Yeah, we can. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, what's up? Uh, super excited that we won. It was a long game, bro. Long game. Long yeah, game. congratulations, I guess. You know, thank first you. time coming yeah. in and playing with the team. It was a yep, pretty yep. good performance. How do you feel now playing with EG? How is this different from your past experiences in competitive playing on? Um, it's, you know, it's new, right? Like you got a whole new roster, um, whole new chemistry, uh, like different speeds, right? Like mm. I'm, I'm used to like sometimes a little slower. So like we were, we were going really quick. So I'm just trying to, you know, catch up and stuff. But other than that, it was good. You know, Nate went off and, you know, big clutches all around the board. So it was, it was, it was super cool. I have to say there was one specific round where you guys playing uh, on the defense reciprocity had a massive advantage of 5v3. You're defending Aviator Games Room. They try to push in, but yet somehow you're able to lock them out. Uh, I don't know if you remember much about the round or how it was done, but please walk me through it because it, for all intents and purposes, that was reciprocity's round to win. Yeah, no, I, I'm going to be real. I don't remember the round, but, um, you know, because I was usually on cam, so I didn't really mm. see much. All I know is I was just looking at the top right and people just kept dying and it was them. So, you know, they, you know, the site players just helped down. So I mean, it, they're just good. They're just great players. How's the communication between the players in EG? I mean, you said that the plays were fast, but uh, how is it to convey that information quickly between the teammates so you can play off of it and continue with yeah, the Yeah, the, the communication is not really much different. Um, mm -hmm. You know, especially like when you're not like obviously starting out hot, right? Like I didn't start out the best, right? You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like I got it's one right. pick or I would dice on the stupid, you know what I mean? So like my, my biggest thing was to like just 
give my team as much as they possibly could to win, right? Like I'm on cams right away. I'm communicating. I'm saying what they were doing, what we shouldn't do, what we were mm -hmm. trying to do on the roam. You know what I mean? Because like obviously there's lurking around everywhere. So it's like we got to figure out how to play against that. So I was over here just you know brainstorming with Nate and everybody like what should we do? How can we do this? And then we just finally started clicking and we started like understanding what they did and then we just countered it. So yeah, that's pretty so much the big thing. Are you now in did. more of an in-game leader uh, kind of position in the team or how is it functioning between you? Nah, nah, I'm just uh, I'm just putting my insight into it, right? Like, I'm just taking my past experiences because mm -hmm. I play this game a lot, right? Yeah. So I'm just taking my past experiences of, you know, like, yo, these guys are doing this. We should just expand, right? Like, expand out, don't roam below, and then mm -hmm. drop later. You know, just go where they're not, basically, because they like to lurk. But one thing, and you're you're just talking about the lurking point. I, I will really want to hammer that down. Uh, between... EG and Reciprocity, there was a lot of play downstairs in the wine cellar mm -hmm. trying to come around and flank your opponents. How do you position yourself for that when you're on the defensive roam to, to just pounce at the right moment? Yeah, that's that's the hard part, right? It's like you got to have that timing on your side, which is the hard part because like, you know, the Doki B calls, you kind of kind of got to like feel what the, the vibe is, right? Mm -hmm. Like if the Doki B calls start coming out, you know, if they're on the second one, okay, they're probably going to execute. So you know someone's gonna be flying somewhere or someone's gonna be holding something. So when a Doki B call would come out, we knew that like they were lurking around somewhere. We didn't know where, but we had to just chill, try to find information, you know, listen to the comms, get on cams, stuff like that. So it's kind of hard, but you know, that's just like game sense and you know. That's so. the experience, I guess, playing this game for thousands of hours. It kind of, I don't know yeah. what, like it, it affects your brain in a certain way and it definitely guides exactly. you through it. But yep. whoa, again, on, on your entry here into EG in the world of uh, top tier competitive play, again, very well done. And as you said, NVK played out of his mind. So this is definitely in it. Anything yep. you'd like to say to the EG fans watching out there? Um, I would just like to say thank you guys. I appreciate the support as usual. Um, gonna keep grinding, you know, just stick stick my nose down and just keep grinding. No matter what performance, good or bad, I'm going to try to always keep my head level, you know, and uh, try to get the dubs. At the end of the day, I'm glad we won. That's all that matters to me. So, right. yeah. It's a very positive attitude, and I would definitely respect the hustle out there. So, <laughs> thank Mo, you. thank Appreciate you very it. much. Congratulations on your victory against Reciprocity. A 7-5, which points you up to second position here cool. in North America. We'll see you on your game in just a few days. Good night. All right. Sounds good. Good night. Thank you.